Doing great. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us this uh, this morning on the teleconference. Um, you know, this is the first time we get a chance to hear from you this season. So, can you give us your thoughts on the non-conference season for your team? And now, uh, with these first five games, uh, where does your team stand right now? Well, obviously, uh, non-conference was uh, was awesome. If you would have told me before the season that we would be ten and three, I would have been doing backflips uh, with the schedule that we faced. Uh, you know, definitely had two signature wins with the win at Texas and the win at, against uh, number 11 St. Mary's on the road. Uh, so those were big uh, program building wins, and uh, our guys were playing great, great basketball. Obviously, we knew the Sun Belt was going to be extremely difficult this year. Uh, it's definitely lived up to that so far. Um, you know, we're not quite where we wanted to be at this point, but uh, it's a long, uh, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint, so we just have to focus each game and, uh, you know, treat it like it's the most important game on the schedule because I, I feel like every team in the Sun Belt is capable of beating us. And, you know, by the same token, I think if our guys play the right way and play together and play with grit and toughness, that we can uh, we can beat anyone just as well. So, uh, looking forward to the last part of conference. Coach, a question from a little bit earlier in the season. Um, your team went on an 11-game winning streak in the middle stretch of non-conference play and stretching into conference play. What really was the catalyst for that winning streak? I think our guys uh, just really moved the ball and they played together. and. Um, they, they didn't care about their statistics or anything. All that mattered was what do we need to do to help this basketball team win. And, uh, you, you know, they really had their confidence going during that streak. And, um, you know, there, there were some games that maybe were close, but our guys just kind of had a confidence and a togetherness that kind of carried us through. And we were also playing a pretty solid defense with a lot of grit and toughness. Uh, uh, and you know, if, with that combination right there, you can you can beat just about anybody. And uh, so hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get back to playing that same way in in conference, and maybe we can uh, start putting together another win streak here. Thank you, Coach. We'll go to our first questions from Selby Lopez of the Shorthorn. Hey, Coach Cross, how are you doing? Great, thank you. Um, so you guys are undefeated at home this season, and you have you have going through a stretch here with five of your next seven at home. How are you guys looking to take advantage? Well, obviously, I think the conference uh, champion is going to either be undefeated, or you know maybe they can they can drop one at home. I think uh, in order to win a conference, you have to you have to win you know almost every single game at home. Uh, and this league is so balanced this year. Uh, but, you know, to have a stretch of five of the next uh, seven at home, I think, uh, you know, is an opportunity for us maybe to uh, put together a win streak and uh, hopefully uh, get things going here. But we know it's going to be very tough. I mean, both the teams coming in this weekend, Monroe and Louisiana, they're both uh, very, very capable of beating us on our home court. So we have to be uh, locked in and ready and, you know, play every single possession like it's the most important one that we play all year long. And you talked about Monroe and Louisiana. You got Travis Munnings from uh, Monroe and Bryce Washington from Louisiana who can really crash the boards. How are you guys looking to hold them off? Well, I think uh, you know rebounding on the for, for the defensive end, it's a it's a team thing. Uh, everybody's got to block out their guy and take up space. And you know we do have an elite rebounder in Kevin Hervey that just kind of has a nose for the ball and then. You know, Jorge is that tough guy that just uh, fights for every single rebound. So I think it's going to be a combination of things, but I think our guys have to be locked in and, um, you know, they have to be focused on um, gra grabbing those defensive rebounds. But it's a it's an unselfish act to block out, and uh, we, we have a lot of guys that, uh, you know, are willing to do that little thing to help us uh, get get a stop on defense. And uh, Kevin missed uh, the Troy game with the sore knee, and he came off the bench last last game. Uh, was that more of like a precaution, or well, and, uh, to, to bring him off the bench? Is that what you're asking? Yes, yes. No, it's just uh, kind of a principal thing because uh, he didn't he didn't practice the night before. Um, you know, I, I just feel like you know the guys that are 
you know, in practice uh, deserve the opportunity to start, and uh, we'll, we'll probably get him back in there this weekend and uh, get get him back uh, rolling again. But he played awesome. He he didn't really mind. It's just kind of a old school principle that I that, that I've had. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Selby. Always nice to uh, have the uh, student media on the teleconference. We'll uh, we'll go to our next questions from Whitney Hayworth of the Sunbelt Digital Network. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Um, you obviously hear you obviously hear a lot about Kevin Hervey and get a lot of questions about him. But when you look at the rest of your roster, who are some players that have stepped up maybe when you have to sit Kevin or you know give him a break or anything like that? Who are some younger guys that have you? you've seen kind of make an impact on the floor? Well, we have so many guys. I, I think depth is one of our biggest strengths of this team. Uh, you have a guy like Jalen Jones that can do everything. He can pass it, shoot it, drive it. He rebounds. He defends. Uh, he, I mean, he's just probably the most well-rounded guy on our roster. Uh, you have a guy like Jorge Bilbao who, uh, without him, we don't win that game at South Alabama. On Monday, he's just a blue-collar guy that will dive for every – dive on the floor for every loose ball. He's going to battle and play great defense. Uh, you know, you had Drew Charles, who's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. He's also a very aggressive, tenacious defender. Uh, Eric Neal is that point guard that's uh, probably as quick or quicker than anybody in the league and can get the ball in the paint at will. And he's a, he's a pass-first point guard, but he's also capable of scoring uh, 20 on any, any given night. And then you have a guy like Kalen Wilson who comes off the bench most of the time for us, but probably our best driver on the team. And he's he's uh, definitely had a few highlight reel dunks that really, really energize our team. So we have a number of guys, and, uh, you, you know, they, they don't really care who gets the credit. And, uh, you never know which game uh, somebody is going to step up, but I think we have enough guys to where during any game uh, you know we'll have enough of them step up to provide the scoring punch that we need. You've mentioned a couple times how so many of the guys don't care about their own stats. It's more about the teamwork and getting those Ws. So what do you think the biggest key will be going into this weekend and the rest of the season to potentially – begin another winning streak and kind of have that same attitude where it's not about the individual player but the team as a whole? Sure. No, I think that's the biggest thing with this team, and we, we haven't been perfect on that. I think the games where we've slipped up a little bit, we've kind of forgotten that uh, very, very important piece. Uh, but they, they were locked in uh, against South Alabama. You could kind of just feel it on the floor and uh, – you know, when our guys are doing that uh, and they're taking great shots and moving the ball, we probably move the ball as good as we had uh, all year long in our last game. And so hopefully that registers with our guys that we'll get the result we want and we'll be able to put up uh, big numbers offensively if we play on selfishly. But, you know, it always goes back to defense. If you're not ready to defend, you're, you're not going to be very good. And, uh you know, we had a little slippage in the, the previous uh, two games and even a little slippage against South Alabama. We have to be better and tighten things up. We had to do a great job defending the three-point line. We were unbelievable at that in non-conference. And, uh, you know, right now teams in conference are shooting lights out against us, and we have to find a way to tighten things up and uh, limit those opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you.